and welcome back in yet another From the Depths tutorial episode and today I'm going to show you how to build a basic advanced cannon to, uh, advanced cannon and also a cram cannon so I hope this will help you out okay so firstly I'm going to build the cram cannon so firstly go into the new object and place down a one axis turret it depends you can use the two axis but I'd rather use the one axis so it's better to use the two axis for smaller turrets but because we're making a bit of a bigger one it's better to use this one axis okay so firstly place down a firing piece and to the back of it or just anywhere but just not in front of it add some cram cannon connectors for now yeah four should be good enough now to these connectors add an add auto loaders so have them placed like this with these flat silver and yellow sides looking out okay that should be good just add it all around even on the bottom okay so now we need some ammo boxes so place them down Oh yeah, and remember to mirror it with N. Okay, so now we need some high explosive pellets. And also some hardener pellets. So the high explosive pellets, well just as the name implies, it makes the bullets explode. And the hardener pellets make the armor piercing a bit higher, which is also useful. So now for these last ones, let's do some high explosive and let's do one hot. Okay, I can't place it down there. Yeah, so this should be pretty much good enough. Cram cannons are quite easy to make. So now press Q onto the cannon and do required accuracy before fire to minimum because then it's a lot, lot more accurate, which is good. So now add some gauges. Gauge increases. It doesn't matter which one. I just rather use these uh, cu cube ones because, well, they look the best on this. So now place down some barrels so, oh forgot place down as a first one an elevation barrel if you're not using this two axis uh, two axis turret now get some barrels so you have to try and keep the elevation firing arc at 80 and have the azimuth at about 30 but the azimuth doesn't really matter when you're using a turret one axis block. So now I have some motor uh, motor driven barrels like that. Yep, the elevation is 80 and the azimuth is 22. Yep, so now it's pretty much done. So as you can see, it can rotate. And let's see, shoot, oh, get a bit closer. And boom. And if you want to follow a bullet, just press caps lock. And Kinetic damage 2000, armor pissing 21, and the speed will go, will be a bit faster when you're in the air. And explosive damage 3463. So this bullet isn't the, the biggest and the strongest because there's not too many gauges. So if you'd add a lot, a lot, lot more gauges, the reload time would be a lot, lot more, but the cannon would be much stronger. So let's try out now. And boom. Yeah, as you can see, the bullet is a much, much bigger, and the explosive damage is bigger, and the kinetic damage is bigger. Just everything is better. So now let's add a where is it? A local weapons controller. So it can be connected onto the cannon, but because the turret is right here, so I might as well place it down. Oops, don't destroy that. So now add a failsafe onto this local weapons controller and also a wireless receiver so the wireless receiver will receive some some stuff from the main ai mainframe which will make it shoot and the failsafe will stop the cannons from shooting the ship itself which you really don't want okay so now you need to place down a ammo controller so place that down place right there now some ammo customizers so depending on how long your uh, or why is the gauge then it depends on how big you have to make it for a hundred I think it's four or five I'll have it on four for now so this is going to be a basic advanced cannon tutorial but if you want me to make an advanced uh, more advanced cannon tutorial then just tell me in the comments section below or just like the video so now on the first one have a composite head 
and now oh, remember to turn this up to depending on what your gauge is so you don't have to but it's good to look to see the stats so now I'll have these three on HE which is high explosive which is probably the, the default best or the starting best so now expected armor pierce is 6.3 so let's add another one yeah 4.6 should be good recoil force is quite high uh, expected explosive damage 319 I think that's quite good so yeah this is quite a good basic shell so you could I could fill this up fully but it wouldn't shoot so you always need to have at least one gunpowder casing which is important so now and also remember to have some ammo on on board of your ship or your vehicle so now go into the ammo intake press Q on it click onto this tab and now do assign all and assigned intakes to this ammo source so do that and now as you can see it's loading up with the ammo yep so it should work now so let's go up to it and yep as you can see it works so advanced cannon bullets are much 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 smaller than the crown cannon bullets but I think they're a bit better okay so I think that I'm going to end this here thank you for watching and I hope that you have enjoyed and learned something new from this tutorial and tell me in the comment section below if you want me to do a bit more of these tutorials and tell me if they helped you so don't forget to like, favorite, share and subscribe if, if the video helped you and thanks for watching